Can you guess what this is? Stay tuned to find out. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Bundle up. It's winter clothes week. Welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. It's winter clothes week on Draw Time, so we're drawing winter clothes. Today I'm going to show you how to draw snow boots. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, I have my paper turned vertical and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. I'm going to start off by drawing kind of the center of where the boots are going to go. I'm going to have, well, I'm going to do this lightly because I will be erasing it before too long. Uh, this will be like the center of the leg and then the foot goes off. I'm going to have one foot going off to the left and then the other one comes down about the same distance down here and then it's going to go more straight down. It's still a little bit of an angle but it, it's not out. It's going to be more down. Okay, so this is where the leg is and then kind of where the foot joins. Okay, so this is a center line for that. Just a starting place somewhere to begin. Let's start with the leg here on the left side and I'm going to go ahead and draw the boot. Now these, you can draw boots a lot of different ways, no boots. Um, these are kind of a combination of, of several different pairs that I've uh, found pictures for. And so I'm going to start off here. It's not a real tall one. It's more of a, like a, it comes up to the calf, halfway up the calf. I'm going to go ahead and start right about here, um, out a ways from that center line. And it's going to curve in and then back out down here. Okay, same kind of thing over here. It starts off wider. It's going to get narrower. Except this time we're going to go ahead and curve, slant down here to where the top part of the boot is. And it curves down. And it makes a strong curve up. And curves around this end. Just like this. And then this is going to curve back and connect back here at the heel. Okay, and then right here is a little bit of a, a heel at the sole of the foot in the back. Okay. All right, now that we have this drawn out, we can go ahead and erase this line down the middle. That's why it's good to draw a light because it's just a starting place and we, we don't need that line after we have things lined up. Have things put where we want. Okay, the top of the boot is fur lined. I'm going to start make a curve right here. Going past on either side. I'll make a cur vertical curve here. One on this side. And then I'm going to draw the back side of the boot. I'm going to curve up. Now this pair of boots is not being worn at the time. They're just kind of sitting here. And then I want to draw, this is around the front at the top of the boot. Uh, this part again, like I said, is fur. So I'm going to just make short little lines around the edge. Make it look more like, like fur. And somewhere across here. And then I can shade inside just to show that that does go down inside. Okay. Next I want to make a line that starts here and curves curves around and follows the, the shape or contour of this outside edge here. curve of that outside edge, just like that. Okay, this can kind of curl around right here. And then I want to put, there's some laces on this boot, so I'm going to curve around this part right here, just like that. And then I'm going to draw some X's where the laces go across each other. down to about here. 
Up at the top I want to make two loops where the laces have been tied into a bow. Two ovals that are slanted. Okay, and you can color these in with whatever designs or patterns or just want to make them solid colors, that's fine. Or if you want to leave it black and white, that's fine also. I think I'll darken the, the sole of the boot down here. And then I'm going to make a line that slants back under here like that. Okay, so there's that one. Now I want to work on the boot here on this right side. I'm going to start try to make them look like they're about the same size. So I'm going to make this curved line and go right about in here. I need to start off by drawing the width of the boot though. Uh, this again, this is the center of the leg and then the foot. So I'm going to start out a little ways. I'm going to kind of curve out, curve in. And then about here where these two connect, I'm going to curve back out. And like that. And then I want to do the other side. About the equal distance, same distance over, apart. Like here's the center I went out this far. I want to go about the same distance over to the right. Curve out, curve in. And then this one's going to kind of slant down long right here. Okay, here at this side, this is where the heel of the boot is right here. So I'm going to start in just a little ways and curve around. This boot is coming out at us, so it looks slightly different, kind of a different shape as it's coming out at us. It's going to look wider out here and then get narrower as it goes back. Okay, now uh, the this part here, I'm going to come up from there here and curve around to make the part that is equal to that, just like that. I want to darken the sole of the boot down here. just like I did over here. And then let's put a curve about where this curve would be right back back in here. Actually before that I'm going to go ahead and erase the center line. We don't need that anymore. Curve right about here up. That just indicates that the whole shape of the boot is rounded there. It's not necessarily a line that appears on the boot. It's just the curve of the of the boot. And then I want to draw the part here where the laces will be. I can kind of see where that line was, so I'm going to come out equal distance on either side of that. Just like that. Then I want to make the uh, laces going all the way down. So they crisscross, X's across the front. And then let's do this top portion. About the same size and shape as what we have over here. Erase any race of the line here in the center. And then we'll go, go I'm gonna go back and make little short lines to indicate that this is part is furry. And shade inside so that we can see the boot goes down inside. And let's put two ovals here to indicate that the shoe's been tied into a bow. The boot, I mean. <laughs> Okay. Now, of course, if you were going to make it look like a person was wearing these, you would make you wouldn't see this backside back here. You would just make the lines go up from the inside for the legs. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw a horizon line back here. 
If you're outside, this is where the sky and the earth meet. If you're inside, this would be like where the wall and the floor meet. Okay, maybe a little bit of shading down here to indicate that these are on the ground. Doesn't have to be real dark. Just gives you the idea that the boots are on the ground. Clean up your drawing, add color if you'd like. And this is our drawing for today snow boots. Well that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again and remember if you want to be a good artist do a little drawing every day. Burr. Well if you were wondering what this is it's a close-up view of the tread on my boot. Well thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.